Hello everyone, welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. We're playing as Brandenburg and we are at war with the Teutonic Order. Um, Poland declared war on the Teutons and we are trying to get Nunemark if at all possible. Now, I was thinking, um, we cannot guarantee that they can, that they will give it to us, but we can kind of twist their hand. Um, if we take Kum, which is the war goal, and Turchill, they won't be able to take any province that borders them. So taking everything else would kind of be pointless for them. I hope, you know, I hope that's how the AI works. So I have decided to go to Kum and um, to Shell. Is that called to Shell? I have no idea. And we're going to take those provinces. And hopefully we'll get Nunmark. With a little bit of luck. Bavaria, I don't know what to do with you. No, because Austria is probably going to declare war on you. And I'm no longer allies with Austria, so... Eh. I'll improve relations with them. So we're basically going to try to take this. Um... Lose one stability? Really? Really game. Um, do I have to boost that up? I don't think so. I don't have unrest. Do I? Well, plus 0 0.63. But we don't actually have any rebels. So I'll ignore it for now. And we'll see about sieging this fort. Just, you know, to get a little bit more war score. Oh wow, I cannot see this province. How many people do I need? I need six. It's a little bit annoying. Go, let's send two more. And that should do it. So hopefully now... Wait, why the hell did Poland take this? Damn it, Poland. Well, in that case... I don't care anymore. Let's go home. If Poland has come... Oh, they lost it again. Damn it. You know what? I'll just make sure I occupy Kum. This game is confusing. No. Since the last expansion, uh, Bohemia was forced to give Poland 10% of their income. Man, Poland is going to be rich. Making so much money. It's a little bit insane, to be honest. There we go. You know what? You can stay there. What is the... Supply limit 16, so I will move my entire army to there. Um, Twer has entered a military alliance with Livonian Order. We don't really have to care about that. And Saxony declared a war against Bohemia. So Bohemia is at war with Saxony and Hesse. And you are at war with Bohemia, Silesia, Würzburg and Nuremberg. I don't know... A about that, you might lose that Saxony. Might not have been a good idea. Just saying. Should not have done that. Subsidies. Poland will give us 3.15 ducats each month. It's kind of nice of them. I'm not going to spend them, but it's kind of nice. And Pomerania has declared war on the Teutonic Order as well. Which is actually pretty good because if this war ends fast, I can just swoop in real quick um, and vassalize them. But I think if they take Danzig, I think if Pomerania take Danzig, I cannot vassalize them anymore. Because Danzig is um, a very high base stack province. It's like seven base stacks. 7 production. We'll see. Do I have any war score? 
I will wait for Lunenburg to top off next month. And then we'll get a free diplomat and we'll see what um, the Teutonic Order wants to do. Um, they don't want to give it to me. I only have 3% war score, so not much I can do. We basically have to wait for Poland to siege um, everything. And then we'll be able to hopefully get Nunmark, Veselize, Pomerania. And then I guess we'll go for Mecklenburg. Maybe the best thing to do. Um, and I can tech up. Should I? Yeah, I should. Go. I don't want to focus anything just yet, I think. Well, do I? I do have a lot of Diplo points that I don't really need at the moment. So, you know what? No, I'm not, because then I'm going to fall behind on military points. I think balance is fine. Let's actually take a look at my air. My air is a 2 to 1. It's actually horrible. But now with the extra money, I guess we could take another advisor, but we will have to fire them anyway after the war, so it's maybe not worth it. Not yet, that is. Poland has a claim on this province. That's not a good thing. Really not a good thing. Um, sure. I don't mind tacking up, I guess. I don't know. We are at 74%. Come on, Poland. Peace out. Just give me Nunmark. Take, um... War reparations. And let's get this over with. Let's go home. Let's invade Pomerania. Might actually have to wait for them to get like 100%. Now the reason why I don't want them to take these provinces as well is... I don't want Poland to become super strong. Um, especially since I don't have any other allies possible in the near future. I mean, I have Austria, but that's no guarantee since they kind of hate me um, for being allied with France. Which might be a horrible thing. I'm actually thinking about maybe allying Denmark. But, hmm. I don't know. Kind of have to see about that. Military access from Saxony, I guess. I don't mind if Bohemia loses this war, but they are not going to lose. Pretty sure they're winning. Yeah, they're winning with 31%. England, what are you doing? You're rebelling. That's what's happening. They're having War of the Roses already. But, you know. Um... Here we go, peace. Oh, they didn't give... Oh, do those mean idiots. Wow, okay. Um, Teutonic Order will see it. Mammal, Konigsberg, um, Ermland, and everything else to Poland, and I didn't get anything. Thank you, Poland. That, that's really nice. What a dick. What an ass. Wow. You know, I actually spend manpower on that, Poland. No. Just saying you. Poland has... Okay. So Poland lost some territories. Oh, because they cannot core it. They have to give it back. Those idiots. Oh my god, Poland, what did you do? Poland cannot core these provinces. So basically what's happening, he took all that aggressive expansion. He took all that land. Now he cannot core it and he has to give it all back because otherwise it will rebel anyway. Ah, oh, damn it, Poland, you idiots. Anyway, 
I'm going to declare war on Pomerania and their allied with the Livonian Order, which is not really a challenge. East Frisia, which is easy, and Saxon Lornberg, um, which is a two province minor or one province minor. So I'm going to do that. Poland will join me, which is actually the only thing I need. Um, and I'm going to go straight for the capital. Oh, and Pomerania already took um, Danzig. Can I still vassalize them? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay. Do I want to attack them over the river? I don't think so. I don't think I want to attack them at all. Um... Let's take one unit. Let's split it off to see this. Um, and once again, we'll split. Oh, Saxon Lornberg. The six units have arrived. Do I want to go beat them first? I don't think so. Do I? If I don't have to fight them. I'm not going to fight him. You know what? I'm not even going to fight him. I'm not even going to look at them. They can do whatever they want. Go. We're going to move up and try to seize the capital. We don't want to give Poland too much. Um, war points. Thingies. Whatever they're called. War score. There we go. Because then they will probably separate peace. Um, and we will lose everything, you know, then it might take like all of this and we don't want that Now Poland, um, what do I say Poland, the Teutonic Order Shouldn't be easy for me to take next, so I kind of have to take a look at the truth When does it end? Because I have to declare war straight away Um, 67, it's a long time because otherwise Poland will declare war on them and then, you know, horrible things will happen and I won't get my core, which is a bad thing. Now, this vassalization, um, it will give me a lot of aggressive expansion, holy Narnia, but I think I will take it. I think I will take the aggressive expansion. Also, I'm taking tons of attrition because I'm standing here with my 9,000 units. Let's go siege Saxon Lomberg. Try to get their income if at all possible. It's already being sieged. So, maybe not. Uh, let's just go back. Let's go back to Berlin. It's actually a really quick war. Look at this. 42. And then I will probably just have to defend um, against the coalition. I was thinking, what other allies could I use? And then I was like, Denmark might be nice. So let's go with Denmark. Because if we want to fight over a big coalition, you know, we have Poland, we have France, so kind of have to see. That's Pomerania, what do I need? Zach Lomberg is under siege, East Frisia is under siege. Okay. So I can't really do anything. Um, and I need a lot more war score. Mm. A little bit annoying. I just need more war score. I will get it eventually. I will just have to wait. How is this going? They are at 42%, so. Oh. 
There we go. Going to invade. Because they are... Uh, um, I think it was just Siege. We're going to start with 21%. Which is going to be amazing. What the hell are you doing, Macromerk? You're at war with Saxony and Alsace. Hmm. Come on, Siege it. Go. And hopefully that's all I need. No. Not yet. No, you cannot have peace. Actually, you can. What am I saying? Have peace. Um, give me war reparations. I guess money. 0.5 inflation. Well, we'll not take the money. Cancel your alliance with East Frisia, Pomerania, Magdeburg. Yeah. That's fine. Okay, so how much are we in favor? Positive 160, negative 158. Okay. So, how do I get to East Frisia? Brunswick, give me access. No? I don't think I can get to East Frisia. So who are you at war with East Frisia? You're at war with Brandenburg, that's us, Saxony and the Hansa. Has anyone tried to conquer you? No. Um, I think we'll just have to sit this out until East Frisia wants to peacefully leave us the hell alone. Basically until we can white peace. And then we'll do some other stuff. Uh, military tech, yes please. Who doesn't want military tech? Command is just yeah, drop too low so we can white peace. Get this war over with. You know. You know you want to do that. Just. Pomerania wants peace. Nope. I want you to come to me. Just vassalize. Hmm. Just have to wait as until they drop too low. War enthusiasm low, and then I can vassalize Pomerania, and everything will be good. Um, six peasants, or ten prestige. In Sternsberg, whatever that is. It's this province, let's go. He lost almost a thousand men, which is kind of annoying, but it is okay. I think I should boost my stability at this point. Should I? I still don't have any rabble problems, so I guess not. Guess it's okay to leave it at minus one. What if I give the money? Do you want money? Nope. They don't want anything. Well, maybe they do want something. Whatever I give you war reparations. No, not even that. Is crazy. You are crazy and annoying. So anyway, guys, this is the end of the end of the episode. So I'm going to end it here. So I will see you in a bit. I'm